Well, today on Nation, a Window Cleaners podcast, we're talking all about automation. What can you do to get more things done with less effort? How to make things more streamlined? How to just get more done easier? So if you're in business of window cleaning, thinking about getting into window cleaning, or heck, just want to spend some time, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy the show. There's seven years of content, so tons of shows that, uh, you know, some of them don't suck. So there's that to check out. So go back, watch, listen, anywhere podcasts are found. Um, make sure to go ahead and just, like, you know, review it. I'd appreciate it. Um, today's episode is all about automation, and I know we kind of talk about that and kind of get a lot of people glaze over as far as how to get it done, automation is too big for me. You think automation, you think like, you know, giant companies that, you know, automate the workforce and that it's not really that. When we're in a service business or a small business just in general, think about all the things that you have to do as the owner. Now, if you're not an owner, uh, you're just listening, that's rad. Uh, definitely, um, thanks for listening. But understand that the owner of a business has to do everything that isn't being done. And that sounds dumb, and you're like, yeah, of course. But think about that. That means that the techs do the work, okay? Maybe you have an admin. The admin does some of the office stuff. Everything else has to be done by the owner, right? You got hiring. You have firing, you have compliance, you have, uh, you know, making sure your insurance coverage is there and every little piece to the puzzle all the way down from marketing to SEO to advertising to all of that comes down to the owner. And there's only so much time in the day. So what happens is, and I'm going to tell you this, you got to like really think about yourself because sometimes people get blinded. But what happens is, stuff gets missed. It just doesn't get done because so many other things are there. So priorities take. And what automation does is automation allows things to happen regardless. Like you could take an hour of a day and plan an entire month of a something. One click of a button, it just happens. Automation is like having somebody doing those things without having to pay somebody to do those things. Yeah, some of these services that you can do that help with automation costs money, but they're so worth it. So absolutely worth it what they do. And that's kind of what we're talking about automation. I know for a fact you're probably doing some things right now that are automated to some degree. And knowing that lots of other things are there and available, it just makes things so much, so much better. But anyway, let's let's just jump in. And the first one I'm going to talk about is Responsibit because I love Responsibit. I love Kurt. Kurt's the owner. Um, you guys have seen Responsibit all over. A Responsibit basically is like a plugin for your site that you do instant quote. So if you go on somebody's site and it says, you know, click for an instant quote and you go in and it shows you pictures of windows, you tell it how many there are, you can even get in schedule, book everything and not talk to anybody. And some of you, are saying, well, they have to talk to me, you know. No, my customers, they wouldn't, you know. But have you ever bought something from Amazon? Have you ever bought something from eBay? Yes, the answer is yes to all of those. You've done that because that's the type of world we live in and people want that too. It's not that you're not answering the phone because if somebody just goes ahead and, you know, they get a quote or do whatever and then they say want to call you or talk to you, they can still call you or talk to you. But I can't tell you how many tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars that we've made or had booked overnight, two, three in the morning. I don't know why people are waking up. I don't know if they just like pop their eyes open. They're like, oh my gosh, we got family coming over. I got to get, it doesn't matter why. It just matters that it works. Now the automation part comes in, not only automating bids, which you can still do over the phone, which by the way, you should be doing 99.9%, maybe once a year, you should actually be on site doing a bid. There's zero need for you to go ahead and be on site. But if somebody calls you, give them a bid instantly, get them in, book them. 
if they go through the website, they need to know something right away. It collects their information even if they don't book. Now you can call and go, hey, just call in to follow up with the bid you did last night, right? You can call, you can follow up, you can stay with them, but the automation comes is that they take care of that from scheduling everything and they do automated follow-ups also. So follow-ups in general are time consuming. You have to remember them and they feel very pointless sometimes. Cause you're like, oh my gosh, hey, it's just me again calling to, as somebody who does that a lot when we're talking, you know, somebody's asking about equipment, trying to follow up, seeing if they have any more questions, things like that, it gets pretty daunting. So what happens is you end up not doing it because it's annoying. So the automation of it in the follow-ups helps you from that first time call. It just stays with it. Your follow-ups on everything you do, commercial property, uh, especially route, residential, if they're not booking with you right away, follow-ups create a sense of... Um, refreshing it, it refreshes that in their brain because as soon as they get the quote they go off and then they're thinking about something else or they fall back asleep you're bringing it back up in their brain you're creating that they're showing that you're like an actual business who cares and you're reaching out oh wow i can't believe you guys yeah let's you know it shows something for your business but it's daunting and especially when you get larger or busier times a year you're doing 20 30 40 50 bids a day how are you going to do that Automation back with like something like responsive, it works fantastic. I know people even who as techs, when they're out in the field, if somebody or a neighbor asks for a quote, they pull their phone up, go right in and enter all the information into that because then the office has it. Starts the whole process. So you could do that, but it costs money for responsive. Fantastic product. Uh, actually, if you're watching this either as a podcast or as a video, uh, the link, actually there probably is a link. I've had a link forever, so I'm... 99% sure it's still there. If not, text me, uh, 862-312-2026. I'll shoot you a link for response a bit. But anyway, side note, not a sales pitch. Uh, next one's Loomly. Loomly is pretty rad. Loomly is like a, um, a buffer program, uh, if you know, if you've heard of buffer. But <clears throat> Loomly is the name. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is basically a calendar for all of your social media spots right you wonder how people can keep up with social like i don't have the time in the day to make a post every day with the di right nobody does <laughs> like that you know unless you have a full-time social media person eh, that's not really how it works but you do have an hour today or an hour a month and all you do is because remember we're capturing all that b-roll footage footage cool pictures whatever we're putting that all into loomly we're scheduling and slating it out. If I got one picture one, picture two, and picture three, I have potentially a week of content. Actually, more than that. Because on week one, that picture goes to Facebook with a post. Week or uh, Day one. Day two, it goes to Instagram with a post. Same picture. Day three, it goes to LinkedIn with a picture and a thing, right? Day four, it goes to the next social media. It goes to the next social media. One picture can be content for every social media platform and not dumping it all at the same time. Picture number two goes to Instagram day one, but goes to Facebook day two, right? You see how they're just moving all around. So content wise, you can take one post and then you can say, okay, this post goes to LinkedIn this day, this day, goes to Instagram this day, goes to Facebook this day, all in Loomly. You create one post, set it all up, times, dates, all of that. And then when you're done for the day, Cool. Close that screen and guess what? Every post on every social media platform for you will be posted absolutely automatic. This is fresh content. Fresh content is king when it comes to SEO, when it comes to ranking, when it comes to indexing, when it just comes to like social verification and like, you know, social proof. It is absolutely essential. And if you're like, well, we don't want to put the same picture on different, nobody is looking at your stuff every single day on every platform. Like even if they read, you've never seen a picture come up twice, you've never even looked where it comes from. Social media is scrolling. You're trying to stop the scroll. That's what social media does. So posting it all over creates fresh content, helps you index with things, helps you bring people back, social proof, so many things. And that can be done literally. You could make a month's worth of posts in like an hour. If you got the B-roll, you just put it in, type a quick blurb like, you know, Another happy customer. We love what we do.
It's not sales. It's not a pitch. Just put it out there. That type of program allows you to now have the most active social media platforms on any other company around you. If the other companies are automating it, they are not going to post something on every social media platform every single day. They're just not. They just don't have the time to like create individual posts, go on to each one posting it by itself without something like this. It takes like hours of a day, every single day. You can do that all in a month or do the whole month in an hour. So you can do that with automation. It comes back to, again, Loomly is the name, L-O-O-M-L-Y. Search it. Uh, I don't have a link for that one, but great platform. Um, yes, it's a paid platform depending on how many things you got, but you can post everything from TikToks to YouTube shorts to all of that stuff. Do it and post it. It's phenomenal. Um, another one is uh, MailChimp. MailChimp is like Constant Contact or any of those other uh, email blast type things where you're collecting every customer is giving you their email, signing up for newsletters, all that type of stuff. And what you can do, and I have a lot of people who do this because remember, a company is super busy in winter. They just are like a real big company. When you're like, oh, well, I just slow down. Okay, but that means you have time now to do all the other stuff. So usually in like a January, I got a lot of companies, they make 12 emails one day takes like an hour again hey we'll do a gutter one here's a gutter picture you know whatever that'll be fall like and then they go into constant contact or mailchimp which is what one i like and they schedule cool i got 12 emails going out all of these dates these are the times and you can change the times if nine you have more opens at nine than you do 10 or 10 over 11 like you can change it throughout the the timing but i can plan the entire year worth of email blasts all in no time. And it just pushes it out. I don't have to remember, when was the last time I did an email? Should I do an email? Oh, I could do an email. Emails are free. I mean, the platform may cost depending on how many emails you have and all that good stuff, but it's absolutely contact that you can give people and know, well, I'm bombarding my people if I send one one a month. Nobody remembers once a month. You get emails every day. Who sends you emails once a month? Nobody, because if you didn't want it, you just unsubscribe. But you got to make an email not be just a sales pitch, be kind of cool, you know? You could pick anything, anything, put stuff out, right? Maybe February is not a great time, so you're going to do like a, a Valentine's email, like, you know, here's a printable $50 coupon for window cleaning. Give it to your uh, loved one and uh, be the hero. That's it, just here, $50 of window cleaning. We can't do no job is fifty dollars. Put on there fifty dollars towards full house cleaning or whatever. Right? If gutter cleaning is something you do, Christmas lights is something you do. Well, August send your first Christmas light one. What? Yeah. Well, you have to schedule them. September, October, maybe there's Christmas lights. Uh, July, maybe you know is gutters. You can plan all of that. Put it all out there. It's automated. It throws it out. It makes sure that it happens. And you know what? You don't have to think about it again. See, automation in the, the real sense of small business, just make sure that there's less things that you have to do because you're doing everything else. So let's do this real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this out. You can, you're working in the field. Cool. If you're driving, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, listen, hear this. Do you do an email every month? Do you post on every social media platform every day? Do you uh, do any of those things regularly? Do you follow up with all of your route jobs that you're trying to sell or customers that have done um, estimates? Or what happens when somebody requests a quote from me, gets a quote, and, and for some reason you couldn't close them? And they're like, yeah, uh, all right, well, let me talk to my, uh, my husband and I'll give you a call back. What happened to that? Well, you didn't do your whole day and then go, hmm, I'm going to call them later this afternoon unless you have something reminding you. But automation can do all that. All of those things that could be being done are not being done, and that's cool. You're busy. But automation is the thing that does all that. When you see these companies, you're like, how are they doing so much? they got to have like 10 people in the office. No, they just have a couple programs that run. It's literally that simple. It's crazy. I have to stop and do my shameless plug 
for today. I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. Tons of you listen, watch, you know, thousands, thousands of people a week. And I would love to be your rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what we do is we sell equipment to the professional window cleaner. We are the best supply company in the world, the largest supply company for window cleaning on the planet. I already know you're buying from us. And if not, let me know why not. I want to fix that and make you a customer. But I also want to be a rep. I want to be the guy you could text, call, be like, oh, Jersey, it's saved in the cart. I want to make sure everything fits. I want to look at it. I want to do it. And guess what? It costs you nothing extra. I get credit for it. I can continue doing awesome videos or mediocre videos, whatever you prefer. And of course, like every third person says, I could buy more hair gel. Because if you're watching this video, I have gel in my hair and people like to bring that up. So thank you. You could tell me with your multiple pennies that I make, uh, you could tell me what free stuff I get. People say you can buy name brand soup, you can get name brand bandages. I love hearing it. So anyway, let me be your rep. Uh, you are awesome. I, I hope you're getting something from content. I don't make the content hoping that it makes you buy from me, but buying from me helps me, you know, exist on the planet. Also, I own American Window Cleaner Magazine. The American Window Cleaner Magazine has been around since 1986. Yes, it's a real paper magazine. If you're not getting this, which a lot of you aren't, what's what are you even doing, bro? I mean, get a magazine. I know, you're like, yeah, magazines, I don't want a magazine. Yes, you do. You want a magazine, put it in the truck, uh, read it on the toilet, do whatever. It's amazing. It's absolutely 100% centered around window cleaning. So there's articles and new launches and gear and reviews and all that stuff. Absolutely phenomenal. Go to awcmag.com, get the subscription, uh, write it down. Tell, say, hey Siri, remind me about blah, blah, like do that. Like you'll thank me later. Um, so go do that. And uh, one other quick favor before I shut up about that is uh, I have a YouTube channel who I am trying to blow up, uh, at least in my mediocre world. Just search on YouTube, Jersey underscore nation. It's not the WCR page, it's my own page. It just has some extra content, some awesome things, and I wanna really do some pretty cool videos, so please subscribe so it feels worth it. Okay, back to it. So we talked about responsive, we talked about Loomly, we talked about MailChimp. What about a CRM? Are you using a CRM now? I hope you are. The CRM stands for Customer Relationship Manager, but that's like, uh, quote IQ or Jobber or any of these ones that do the kind of uh, accounting stuff and they do your accounts payable and like it's a platform that all of the invoices go into. Some of them have scheduling in them. Some of them have proposals bid in. Like you can automate all of that stuff the same way that anything can. A CRM is going to help you keep track of stuff where you don't have to think about it. If it's not in your brain, it just happens right? If somebody didn't pay an invoice, which I hope every single customer that you do as a house is paying you before you leave, the, you should never leave a job with not getting paid ever uh, when it comes to houses. But route does sometimes, you know, uh, commercial especially. How do you stay up with that? You got to remember, look at your accounts receivable, meaning how many people owe you money right now. I guarantee that 100% of you have money owed to them. 100% of you. That's nuts. That's nuts. Having something automated to help with that is a CRM. CRM could be that simple. Now, again, the more intricate you get, the more you want to do. And before you ask me which one I recommend, do demos because each company has kind of a different need for different things. Um, every one of them does demos. Every one of them you can you know meet with somebody and just go over the different services and let them do a walkthrough. It's free for a demo um, and uh, it can show you if it actually makes sense for your business because a lot of them are like, you know, you know, we cater to window cleaners and pressure washers and lawn care and maid service. And it's like, well, I don't need all the services for like maid services or lawn care, but I mean like find out for you which one works best and they all do demos. And uh, if you're looking for a link, I do have a link if you're watching this video, I think uh, on Quota Q. Uh, again, ask me if I don't and I can send it over. 
But there's so many CRMs that can do a ton also. You can even use Responsive it as a CRM um, for a lot of that stuff. So find out, but the more automation you can put into that stuff, the more things actually get done. So look and see what works for you. Well, I don't have the time for, yes, you do in winter. You see, now you see why winter is so busy. Schedule demos. You can do five different companies, figure out what's right, start building it in and have a new CRM ready before spring. It's that easy, really. If you're still on paper or don't have a CRM, do you even have a real business? Like, do you even have like a, that was harsh. I didn't mean that. I don't mean do you have a real business. I mean, do you have like a business or do you have like a job? Like, are you just doing this thing or do you have a company, right? Anyway. Um, another one that I really, 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 really like, which I would think is probably going to be the number one thing you could possibly do ever for your company, is a program called Zapier. It's Z A P I E R. Zapier? Zapier. Something. Search it. You'll find it. It's hugely popular. It's like an if this then then, if you remember that program. But basically, it is a linked program that links different things with automation. Okay, I know you're, you're, you're glazing over if you've never heard of it. Let me explain it. So in every item, most every item, almost everything, I'm talking about Gmail. Uh, I'm talking about QuickBooks. I'm talking about Stripe. I'm talking about uh, Google Forms. Every product that could be anything, not just Google, not just anything, all of these different platforms use something called, well, you get into it's like web hooks kind of in that, but the, basically you're allowed to go into Zapier once you have this subscription and say, when I add a contact name to my HubSpot, it will automatically send this email to the email I entered from my Gmail account, right? So it takes a thing, when that thing happens, it shoots a trigger, the trigger sets this thing in motion. You can have hundreds of automations. This connects everything. We're like, oh, I wish this thing did this thing. It can. You guys have to mix it together with a zap. That, by the way, that's what they're called, the little like chain. So this happens to make this happen, that's called a zap. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing to be able to add this stuff. You can take something as simple as, say, um, your QuickBooks. If you're using QuickBooks or any of these other CRMs, right? Somebody enters in a, um, you enter an order or an estimate. Say you're putting the estimates into there and there's an email. It basically says that when every new estimate's created, it takes the email and sends it to MailChimp in your own MailChimp account. Now that connection did it automatically you didn't have to go out and take it or go once a month and put like, you're not forgetting or having to worry about any of that stuff. That's automation. That is automation. Automation is just making everything happen without your brain. And that's why this stuff is so stinking amazing. If you haven't looked up Zapier, do that. Do that. I mean, this again could be done over winter, I know, but there's so many pieces that could be done. You'll be overwhelmed. It literally can connect almost anything to almost anything. It's shockingly pretty. It, it, there, you can also in Zap, and again, open open your, your brain a little bit. This will get a little lost just through audio, but you can say, when I do an estimate, it takes that information, takes the email and sends it to my MailChimp. It takes the um, email and creates a Gmail, uh, an email to send 24 hours later saying, thanks again for everything, here's our information, blah, blah, blah. You can also have that same thing you know, do any other, and it can do a string of zaps. So when one thing happens, one trigger can set off five different things that happen. Think about how many pieces get done like that. Think about if every customer that came to you for an estimate got an email, maybe got a text automatically to you like, hey, just wanted to say what's up, this is my number, if you need anything, here's our cell. Text me, call me, whatever. 
maybe as soon as somebody does an estimate, you send them a coupon. Or you do the same thing, hey, uh, every booked estimate, you take that, they get an email and go, hey, here's a uh, $50 off coupon. Every neighbor you get to book with you on your time of service, we give you $50 and them $50. Something like that. Imagine if it just all happened. All happened at the same time. These are the little pieces that make these companies, the big companies, the companies that have so much stuff. I mean, you have thousands of customers. You could have 10 trucks on the road getting 50 calls a day and have more stuff getting done than any other company, even in the small ones. That's automation. If you're out in the field still, if you're still cleaning and you're like, well, you know, my business, I can't really grow because I don't have the time to do all that. Of course you don't, but automation can. So how do you take automation, get yourself out of the field faster? Automation does all that. And it's not, you know, big tech, hard, complicated stuff to do. It's just not. You want to start with something easy? Do automation, but on your own, do a marketing calendar. Just do a calendar that says, okay, on March 1st, April 1st, May 1st, whatever your date is, pick a date, doesn't matter. We're doing our first EDDM. That launches this day, it gets sent out the next week, and it gets sent out the next week. Now I got three things scheduled, it's all right there. Now I know I have to get those printed. I can print them now for next year, because I know when they're going out. Then I also know I'm doing EDDM in fall uh, on September 1st, the next week, and the next week I'm doing this. This is how many pieces, I can print them all. Now I know that my Loomly is pushing through all this other stuff. So now in my marketing calendar, I can say posts are getting done. I could do this, 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 and this. It doesn't have to be something every day if you don't want. It just has to start to create that. Once it's there, there's no thinking. You can jump in and go, okay, cool. It's Monday. What do I do? Uh, awesome. Doing Craigslist. I'm do making a Craigslist post. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm going into mommy groups for 30 minutes. Whatever it is you're doing, you can automate yourself without paying for any automation by doing a marketing calendar. Marketing calendar is one of them. Uh, route optimization. Take all of your addresses. There's programs on the internet. Search just route, optimiz uh, route optimizer. Enter in all your route jobs that you have, say, in a day or whatever. And it will, with maps, go, okay, you're going to go this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then it makes it faster. It's the closest, easiest, fastest way. This is the fastest way to get all those routes done. Perfect. You just optimized your route. You're getting more done. You're doing more. You, uh, you optimized all that. I automated that by putting it into that program. If it's saved, then every time I get new route jobs, I throw them in there and hit it, and it re-optimizes all of them. It's always the fastest then. These are things that you can think about, free things you can think about, to optimize, to automate, to just make things happen without the work of you every single time doing it. And if you can spend an hour to do 20 things, your brain's in there. Every time you stop something or start something, it takes your head, your brain, time to go, okay, I gotta do this, I'm thinking of this, okay, let's get in that mind space, let's think about it, let's do it, whatever, all at one time. If you do it in a block like this, I could do what I could do in one hour together would take me five hours to do if I did it all every time, each chore starting it. This is automation. This is how I'm getting better, I'm getting faster, I'm getting more things done, and you can do it. No matter how big or small your company is, you can do it, and it's super easy. And it's designed for small business. It's literally designed for us. So go ahead and do that. I want you to get more done. And I want to put your orders in. Shameless plug. Uh, yeah, I do. I really do. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, literally and genuinely would be doing me the hugest solid. Big orders, little orders. It doesn't matter every order. When you place an order, I see your name come across. And uh, some of you uh, aren't using me. And it's sad. It makes me sad, deep down inside. So hopefully I can use you. Uh, hopefully I can help you. Hopefully I can answer questions for you. And then you got a guy in your pocket. I get a lot of people too who are like, hey, I just put an order in. And it's like, well, I didn't put the order in. But now you want me to help you fix an order that you didn't let me put in. I want to be your rep, but I want to be your rep for everything. So let me put your orders in. 862 312 2026 is my cell phone. So please uh, text me, call me, save your cart, 
You can even be like, yo, I need uh, two 18 packs of uh, Ederay Master Rubber. Boom. Like, I'll verify. Cool. I'll send it to one, two, three. It's done. It's done. You're out in the field. I got a lot of people order like twice, three times a week. But hopefully, um, that would help you. So go and do that. Also, you want to help you. You want to help me. Go to awcmag.com. Really, get a subscription to the American Window Cleaner Magazine. 69 bucks. Not only get the most amazing magazine ever produced for window cleaners, it is actually a really good magazine. And you get stickers every single month to your door, all custom window cleaning stickers because we're all window cleaning nerds, and I hope you are too. And uh, also go to Jersey Nation YouTube page and just subscribe. It costs you nothing to be like, yo, what up? I support your stuff, and that would be rad. So go do that. And uh, also, if you're still watching, thanks for everybody who reached out to me about all the flooding that happened in North Carolina. Uh, all my stuff is safe, and uh, there's a lot, a lot of damage, but uh, it is just outside of where my stuff is. Uh, five, ten minutes, it's completely wiped away. So, uh, Boone, North Carolina's hit really, really hard, uh, and I appreciate the uh, tons of calls that I got, emails, messages, just saying, hey, checking in, you know, that kind of stuff. So. Thank you so much uh, for all that. Uh, everything is good to go there. So, Either way, uh, hopefully you go and start automating. Uh, but more importantly, until next week, go out there and be awesome.